your mother seriously that's the way you're gonna end the show after nine years that's how the show ended what the hell okay N nine years of how I met your mother it was all awesome as hell then we get the last ten minutes like wait last five minutes of the show and it suddenly goes in a different direction. It's like, who the fuck wants to see that? Ted and Robin get back together. The mother dies. What the shit? Okay, first of all, how the fuck did the mother die? There was no explanation to what she had. Did she have cancer, leukemia? Something that made her die? What, did she get sick? Come on, writers, you can't just say she just died and with no explanation. And they cut her off right away. After all the, no, season nine, for all the emotional bullshit we go through of like, finally figure out who the mother is. We're all anticipating on how her fucking Ted gets to meet the mother. And we get to meet the mother and her personality and we all fall in love with her and stuff. Cause she's an awesome lady. Who doesn't want to fall in love with her? Because she's funny, quirky, all around awesome lady. Who doesn't want to be with her? She is amazing. But nope. They just kill her off at the end. Like, fuck this chick. Blah. Kill her off. And then t Ted and Robin get back together at the end. After m many times they got him back together. It's like, what? They've been together like three, four times on the show? And we stopped giving a shift at, we st excuse me, we stopped giving a shit after the second time because no one gave a damn about that couple. And we honestly gave a shit about Barney and Ro I was gonna say Rose, this isn't Titanic. Sorry, my bad. Barney and Robin. That's another thing. After all the crap those two characters went through, Barney finally showing that he loves a person. That he's actually a human being, that he's not a fucking womanizer. They spent three years married and all of a sudden, boom, they're divorced like that. Cop, what the hell? Because, yeah, Barney and Robin would have worked, because I, I could I said it from day one of the episode, the first episode. What, what, like the first season where, like, Barney and Robin are out laser tagging. Robin reminded me of a female Barney, because she's a player, not sort of a player, but she sort of reminds me of a female Barney, minus the sleeping around, because she knows how to deal with him. They would have been a perfect couple. But nope. Those, that shit is gone. Out the back window. And then Barney becomes a fucking womanizer at age 40, which is kind of creepy. Because you think he would learn something, but then all of a sudden, they just give him a baby at the end. That's his happy ending. He just knocks up a woman. And he becomes a father. Granted, it shows the human side of him by becoming a father. But that was just purely rushed. Like, there's your happy ending for Barney. He's like, boom, he's a father. I understand that Robin could not have children, but could at least they adopt children or something? Or did Robin not? Or was there an episode that explained that Robin didn't like children whatsoever? If there wasn't, they could have simply adopted children. And like I said, Robin and Ted back together. It's the same shit Friends did 20 years ago, except minus Ross chasing her down the fucking airport. How many times in that Friends series did Ross and Rachel get back together and it got so fucking annoying that you just didn't give a shit no more? And then finally in the last episode they get back together. A lot of people were happy, some not, but this, this just reminds me of Friends. Anybody under 24 doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's way before your time. Go watch Friends, it's a good show. Joey, come on, Chandler. Basically, Friends is how I met. Wait, 
I fucked it up. How you met your mother is friends. Think about it. It was like the womanizer, Barney, Joey, Marshall and Lily, Chandler and Monica, Ted and Robin, Ross and Rachel. Yeah, that's basically it. Also, there's not a token black guy in the group, except for Wayne Brady, who was there half the time. But yeah, nine years of this shit, we all this emotional bullshit that we go through, through the mother, and this is the fuck you that we get. Mother dying for no reason. Ross. I'm getting the show's confused now. Ted and Robin getting back together for no reason. Other than the writers are just being stupid. Also, they never explain the whole Bob Saget voice thing. You know, like Bob Saget is in every fucking episode before this explaining them for eight years of how he met the mother. And then the last episode, he's nowhere to be seen. They don't even explain that. What was this? Was this... Was this Ted just basically... He fought... Is this what he fought? He sounded in his own head? No explanation? And what about the pineapple? No explanation on that. And also, Ted Mosby is the worst father ever. For like, telling his children of all the sex that he had. Once having a threesome. Who the fuck tells their kids that shit? Going out with a crazy bitch. I know this is part of the storyline, but come on, he's telling this to his kids for eight damn years of all the fucking sex he has. And the kids are all fine with him dating, going after Aunt Robin. No fucking kid would be agree, uh, agree to that. It's like, God damn it, Dad, what the fuck's wrong with you? You had feelings all this time for Aunt Robin and Mom's dead and shit. All I gotta say, I love this show. It was nine years of goodness. Up until the last five, seven minutes of the last episode. Which completely was retarded. I don't know what else to say. It's just, God damn it, how I met your mother. What the hell? Anyways, I'm done ranting for now. Oh, and also for the new intro and the outro, which you'll see in a bit. I'd like to thank Dark Magnoblade. Check out his channel. I'll provide a link to his channel below. He did the new intro and outro. He's really good. Check out his shit. Anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye!